hello everybody, my name's Seth and we are back again for another Trinity 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 How y'all doing today folks? Hope you're doing fantastic, wonderful. Hope this video makes your day even better. Hey, hey, I'm a cowboy, baby, yeah. So, something very interesting has happened. Not only did I end up getting a reply from the devs and got a whole bunch of news to talk about as far as the Xbox version is concerned, did you know that uh, not only is it very, very delayed to actually use a uh, keyboard with Trove, like watch this, I'll press enter, slight delay. Did you know that, watch this, it's delayed, but uh, you can actually control your character with the keyboard controls. <laughs> they didn't delay it. Uh, like they didn't uh, not delay it. They didn't turn it off. That's that's hilarious, dude. Like seriously. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, I ended up actually hearing from the dev spokes. But uh, I completely forgot to bring up my shout out, uh, shout out list. So let me just grab that. Also, I need to take a breath because I was rolling on the ground like a freak. I hope that you enjoyed that uh, enough to end up leaving a like, folks, because I, I don't have any prizes right now. I'm still waiting on some more codes. I gave them all away because I'm a freak and I should drag them out. I should be doing one box giveaway per video, but I didn't because that would just be gross. So. Uh, ended up hearing from the devs, and uh, so they pretty much in short said, no, we can't help you. They got a very, very, what I think is a very hilarious excuse. I, I mean, I don't want to sound like I'm being salty towards the devs. I was a little bit, uh, a little bit salty about though. I got a little bit triggered about the whole situation in general because you know, we, we don't want the haters to win, but don't worry, they're not going to anyways. Uh, if you don't already know and you're just tuning in, the club ended up getting griefed by some guy who uh, freaked out and pretty much put like a big PvP biome down on one of the main, uh, the main hub area, right? But it doesn't matter, we're all good because as you can see right here, we got a new hub built by Jester and Zom Zombie, where there's this bitch here? Jet, oh. What? Contributions provided, well, it was Jester and Zombie as far as I know, but I guess all those other people ended up helping out as far as the resources are concerned, maybe? Sorry if I'm getting that wrong, folks that are in the sign there. But, we got this new beautiful hub. Honestly, it's even better than it was before, so that's awesome, Bowser. But, uh, yeah, so what the devs ended up actually saying, it was very disappointing because they said, not only can they not help, but they said the reason they can't help is because the user who ended up placing down the PvP by him and griefing the club in the first place wasn't hacked. Their account was not compromised, and that's why they couldn't fix it because that person did it of their own accord and for some reason that goes against them rolling the world back even though that person's banned. Like, okay, devs, whatever. Uh, I was very surprised about that, honestly, folks, because on the PC version ages ago, there's been huge griefings that have gone on with some of the bigger club worlds in the game. Like, I, I'm pretty sure even Voxel Busters was one of them that ended up getting griefed. Huge amounts, and they rolled it back without question. So that's why I was kind of expecting them to roll back our pleasant little world. But they didn't, and whatever, that's okay. The world's better for it anyway. So we got all the transist portals right here. These will just take you to the usual spots. We got this one goes over to the music area and everything. And the thing that's really cool is now that we finally have that out of the way, people have been building again. So we've been able to actually like go nuts and create new stuff, you know? So that's very, very exciting. Uh, and then if you come up here, we already have all of the portals. Yeah, I know, right? Like, we already had all of the portals in the secondary, temporary hub that we had, uh, which was over in the undead biome. But everyone kind of unanimously agreed that it was an undead biome, so it wasn't as pretty as this biome. And now we're actually just in the normal area, right? Not to mention, it, I think this is really, really cool because at least we get, you know, we got a nice security tree right here. Uh, we got a nice little waterfall with, I would assume, a koi pond. And then we come over here, and it's one of my favorite areas in the club, actually, uh, is just this big old... I don't know, Town Square, let's call it. It's got all these nice props and stuff like that, and it overall just looks really, really good and pleasant and calm, you know? Like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of moving, shifting energies around, right? Look, I'll do Kermit the Frog. 
That's that's what he does, right? I, I don't I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, but anyways, I figured that we would also go and do a little bit of grinding today. Most of all, it was just talking about all this stuff. I do like what they did here where the ceiling actually reflects the mag rail underneath, which is really, really awesome. Uh, I also do want to mention, just because I think this is really, really cool, this castle is actually being rebuilt, because I don't know uh, how it got torn down in the first place, but the Gaming Zombie 1 is actually rebuilding the castle. I'm guessing he made it in the first place so that's awesome keep it up dude and then i also want to show you all this because i think this is so so cool uh this is by scad one he actually ended up making a proper full-on maze not to mention a nice mini roller coaster ride right here it looks so good dude like seriously very very good building prowess out of this guy uh but the maze itself is very very cool and unique and then when you end up getting into uh that big area right there it says oh yeah there's a uh, there's a lot more to it than meets the eye because you actually go over to his club world which the portal's right here and check it out folks like well i'm definitely gonna do a video on his club world eventually because he's got like all sorts of mini games he's got a boat race he's got a giant maze he's got a super bouncy fun house all sorts of crazy really fun stuff that uh, you know is always a lot of fun in trove because well the general lack of content means that people gotta use their imagination for a lot of stuff right uh but let's just go to you six rather than use seven today this will make it a little bit easier i'm kind of pressed for time right now as well uh i was up uh, as i'm recording this i was up at like what was it like 11 at night last night and as i'm recording this it's actually 3 p.m so i've been up for well quite a while to say the least uh just working you know i've been super duper busy with a lot of stuff that i've been working on with pc version of trove uh and I mean, that's the thing too, folks. Like, I know that this is a little bit late for me to actually even make the video talking about, like, I got a response from the devs. But honestly, I wanted to wait until I had, like, a solid answer to give all of you. And until we actually had, like, the club all set up. Most of the people that were in the club world already knew about it, uh, you know, because I've been hanging, on, uh, hanging out online as often as I can uh, and kind of just... Telling everybody here's what's up and getting given all the latest news, but otherwise most of that's actually in the discord links in the description for that But it's time for some shout outs So we got quite a few because it's actually been a few days since we ended up doing an Xbox episode uh, Might have even been a full week. I'm not sure on that one, but got dream 765 donated 40 shadow tower portals, which is great because we were able to put so many of them just down in the basement uh, Well down in the basement on the main floor of the hub because uh, we got lots of people man Like the club is filling up if not already full again. It's just it's so crazy It's so happening and I just want to say my hats off to every single one of you and thank you so much like seriously for the positivity and support that everyone's been giving uh, And even with all the resources donated towards the club and stuff it, it shows me and just in general like it's like how much you all care about what we're doing here, you know, beyond just like the YouTube videos and stuff, uh, the people that care about having like a good positive community. Uh, and I, I just think that that's absolutely awesome. So luckier Medusa three gave tons and tons of formicide and tons and tons of infinium. We're talking 6,000 infinium plus. Uh, then there's also Ninja Ghost Wolf donated some uh, Ninja Ghost Wolf. Oh, I thought he had a number in his name. Uh, but he ended up donating some infinium as well. Such Jam gave me a uh, love seat mount. So we're going to unlock that one right away and I'll show you what that one is. But first I want to go and complete this dungeon because I do got to complete my daily even though I don't know if we're going to have enough time to actually complete complete the daily today uh but then there's also x115 dumbledore gave a bunch of resources uh then there is also starbuck 617 gave uh questing cubesly a resplendent face and three golden souls <laughs> thanks for those ones dude then doge or doge actually gave a pen block so that's very dank of him uh, veleron gave one mushroom chunk lol that's actually like what was written down uh, when the officers told me as they put one mushroom chunk. LOL. <laughs> and I, I thought that was funny and worth mentioning. Then there's also Minecraft Boy 78 threw us 150 bombs. I've actually got a lot of bombs like in my personal chest that I should be using for grinding dungeons and stuff. 
but I haven't been because I don't really care. Uh, another thing too that I think is a fun fact, and I'm just curious about this, how many of you are getting the same uh, messed up frame rates that I am in these videos? And if any of you aren't getting it, how many of you actually have the newer generation of Xbox, like the Xbox Slim and stuff like that? Because I'm wondering, do those things actually have better performance with a game like Trove? Or is there no difference and all of us are this laggy? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but then there's also uh, Minecraft Boy 78 oh, he threw us the bombs, yeah. Choff06, Vero Legit, Ninja Ghost Wolf gave us a bunch of allies and resources. I gotta, oh man, look at my inventory, it's so full. Ignore that stellar that's in my inventory as well. We'll talk about that in a minute. Yoink! Uh, actually, you know what? We we don't really have enough time to get the daily today, so I'll just get that off camera, because I gotta do these shoutouts quick and uh, be on my merry way, because I got a dinner engagement in like a few minutes. Uh -huh. So Free and Say ended up giving 2K form a site. Mickey Mike One gave some resources. Matthew Stryker gave resources. K Killed Joy 57. Devin gave some resources, and Demon Blood 100 gave us that beautiful stellar hat. So let's actually go through our inventory right here and kind of unlock all this stuff, see where our mastery ends up being at. If we can ever get to the club world, come on, dude. I'm gonna go and get a drink, and you know what? It's still not gonna be done. Nope. Got my nice glass of water and it's still not done, so I think it froze. I, I don't know about any of you folks, but uh, I have been noticing a lot more crashes with the Xbox version as of late. I, I don't know why. Not like just crash to desktop. I'm talking full on like that, where it just freezes. I've had that happen with gameplay and loading screens. I, it's, it's insane, dude. Don't worry though, console folks, within the same day, I've actually logged into the PC version of Trove twice and had it just crash as soon as I loaded into the game. <laughs> um, oh my, we got lots of people here. Okay, so anyways, there's a whole bunch of different resources. We got all these nice little allies right here. I'm just gonna grab them. We're just gonna grab the pen block because whatever, and also the nice love seat. Then there's all these different allies, which I'm probably gonna end up throwing in the club chest in a minute here. Uh, is that already pretty much it? Well, then there's also the Stellar Hat, which has crit damage. Second stat, thank you very much for that one, dude. That is absolutely amazing. I've got nothing but hand-me-downs. <laughs> and, like, we're so powerful, and it's all thanks to you. Like, literally, it's... It's not me, I'm not grinding that much. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I think that's pretty much it, so let me just show you these mounts. Here's the generic Corgi, which looks the same as any of the other crafted ones. He's very beautiful, to say the least. Mostly because of nostalgic sake, because he was one of the earlier mounts in the game. And last but not least, we got the love seat right here, just to go in time with all the Valentine's Day that was... Well, quite recently, even though the event on PC should still be around. Maybe not by the time this video comes out, but uh, either way, very, very cool. And thank you so much for tuning in, folks. I very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. Sanora, and stay epic, everybody.